Welcome to another tutorial. So last time we left here we had this number here and when we refresh the site we get null. When we actually submit some st stuff here we get this number. Okay why this is 11? Let me explain it for you. So I put in this whole line here to the rewrite rule. It counts from here to the end of that string. So that's why it doesn't get actually 3, 4 or some small number like that, but 11. So let's actually test it out. So let's come here and say, okay, let me actually come here. I have to actually, all right, never mind. So let's put in here some uh, A. Submit it. 5. It should actually be 5 in length here. Let's look for that. Okay. Um, the name of that is data. So there are four characters for data. Let me actually come here and say okay. It puts down this one and says data equals data equals a in this case. All right, I'm gonna write that again. So data equals a. So let's count four from here, five and six. That's the length that's printed out here. So we get actually the name of the variable and the variable itself. But we didn't implement some controlling for that. So let me check for if this length, let's put it equal to zero, let's control over it. If it's null, I'm going to try, if it's null and if it's not. Let's actually post some, instead of doing this here, let me comment it out, it's going to be a little bit handier to do some error messaging. Let's say print f. Let's put in there a bold one, say error. And let's put in here. Okay, not error, but the whole string, I would say. Let's put in that and lnstr. Mm, that's actually the count. When I want to get the whole string, then I have to do some getting. Let's actually, before I'm going to do that, let's say form posts and leave it like that. Let's build our project. Let's go to the website. Remove that whole stuff. There we go. We get an error. Because even if I type like that, I get the error because I didn't submit anything. So let's go actually and do it. Let's remove that. Refresh the site. Let's say name. Let's submit it. And there's a form post. So that's pretty much it. Let's actually go and read what we have to uh, do. Let me create a new variable called maybe param and let's give it a length, let's say 80. I'm going to assume that's 80. So in order to get that, I'm going to get string it, but there is a little bit of code I have to do that. So there is a function scanf. Let me actually bring it here. And I have to actually convert this long str, uh, this len str variable to ints. This is a little bit painful here and see as usual. 
So I'm gonna put in this line. This ln str scanf to n to this one, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm not gonna do that. Let's put in here some decimal percentage d. Put in our variable and see if it's gonna be successful. Before I go to the page, I have to build it. So let's refresh submit it and six it works so the difference here is that I've parsed it to a long so its data type isn't a string anymore it's a long it's an integer so after that uh, I'm gonna read that there's a function in C which is this one f get string so I want the string into my variable param let's get that here and I want to read this length from standard std in and then I'm gonna echo it out let's change it to that Compile it, come to our page, refresh it. There we go. Now we have the URL data equals to ASD. That's really important because uh, I'm going to parse this thing maybe for names for other stuff and I'm going to get the variable ASD. That's the way how I'm going to uh, get variables data in my on my websites um, secure securely so actually that's the basic structure and let me actually show some cool stuff let's go up in create a CSS folder and another one JavaScript which is pretty much neat in this case. Let's open up. Okay, I'm gonna go that way. Let's create a new file and put in some CSS margin equals to zero pixel. God damn it, what the hell. So I'm gonna, okay, rename it. Uh, rename it, where the hell is that? There we go. Let's say index or main.css so and let's set the padding to zero pixel put that aside put that aside too and in here I'm gonna print f another line which is basically pretty straightforward I'm gonna put in this line of code to include my style sheet so it's a style sheet it's really tough to remember this uh, inline CSS actually to import the CSS file so let's put in those lines text CSS hopefully I'm not gonna do anything wrong and now it is in the CSS folder and it's called main.css so I'm gonna again compile go to the website let's say yes and see if it's there there we go there's there it is let's make it a little bit nicer background color let's put in there some gray so this time I don't need to rebuild it or maybe I should okay this is actually a little bit weird but let's go ahead and compile it open up the page and why isn't that working Let's open up. Damn it. 
So I did this main point CSS. All right, I had, I forgot to close the tag and let's go ahead and refresh it. And another error. So didn't I re link rel style shit type text CSS href CSS dot main. Okay, I have to put in here another bracket, I guess. I'm not really sure what I'm doing now. Maybe that's the HD access file that's causing me a problem. Let's put in there some URL equals because it's not a variable. That's maybe a mistake. Let's fix that. Okay, I have to fix that one and it's not getting fixed. Well, I'm gonna look for it and still no success. Alright, why? Because I didn't create it. That's really, really amazing. Okay, I'm sorry for that, guys. Let's fix it actually. I'm not sure where this file is. Let's look for it. Not there. Yeah, there we go. It's in the wrong position. So, let's open it up. Refresh it. There we go. We can see that file. And there we go. Now we have a little bit pretty, prettier than before. We can write it down. We're going to write that and it's fully functional. So that's it for this tutorial. Again, I'm sorry for my bad English and stuttering, and see you next time.